What if humans laid eggs? We all know that insects, birds, fish, and reptiles lay eggs, but what if people did too? What if moms and dads had to take turns to sit on eggs and incubate them? How long would babies need to be inside the egg? How would they break out of the shell? How well developed would they be when they hatched? That's a lot of exciting questions with some extraordinary egg explanations. <laughs> so come on, let's get a uh, cracking. Hmm? The first aspect we need to address is why eggs? What benefits do the animals that lay them get from taking this route rather than giving birth to live young? Eggs have evolved for a number of reasons, and arguably the biggest perk they offer is letting females avoid a long, drawn-out pregnancy. If a predator suddenly scrambles into the nest, they can dash away without being weighed down by a bulging baby bump. Live births have their own evolutionary advantages, but we'll get to that later. If humans laid eggs, moms wouldn't need to spend nine months with a tiny baby on board. It would even be easier for men to share childcare duties from day one. Dads could tag out moms and take over the incubation of the eggs to give them some much needed me time. Of course, we'd need to find somewhere to keep our eggs, and it's certain that our homes would look very different as a result. Beds might double up as giant egg cartons, ready to receive their precious cargo. Parents might even have to buy big, heated strollers to carry eggs with them when they leave the house, just to keep an eye on them when they're close to hatching. That brings us on to the other reason that animals lay eggs – sheer numbers. In the case of some birds, once one egg is laid, the female can be fertilized again and prepare to pop out another in a matter of days. In this way, lots of youngsters hatch over the course of the breeding season, with bigger families giving the next generation a better chance of survival. If people laid eggs, then the idea of having twins, triplets, quadruplets, or even octuplets wouldn't be unusual. It would be the norm. Every house would be brimming with babies of almost the same age, and sibling rivalries would be taken to a whole new level. But how would eggs impact the way babies develop? Would they still have to stay inside a full nine months? Or could fetuses grow faster in a self-contained capsule packed with all the nutrients they need? Humans are already a little out of the ordinary because of how vulnerable our youngsters are after birth. Some animals lay their fertilized eggs and leave their unborn kids to fend for themselves. For us, it takes decades for our little ones to grow up and leave the nest. The problem is that we humans are just too smart for our own good. If we laid eggs, they'd have to be gigantic, large enough to store the nutrients our babies need to develop their big brains over a very long incubation period. Essentially, if humans had been confined to eggs, we probably wouldn't have evolved to be as clever as we are. And you don't need to be Einstein to understand that. Ignoring the physical logistics of humans laying eggs in the first place, what about the problem of getting the baby out of the egg? Many birds and reptiles tackle this issue with an egg tooth, a little protuberance on their beak or snout that can penetrate the shell and give them their freedom. Egg-born human babies would need some mechanism to help them achieve the same thing. Perhaps people would just have extra sharp noses to cope with eggscaping. In all this, it's worth remembering that at one point, humans actually did lay eggs, or at least the animals that are our distant ancestors did. Over the millennia, females kept fertilized eggs inside them for longer and longer because it gave them the advantage in the arms race of natural selection until eventually the hatching was eliminated altogether and live birth or viviparity took over. There are a number of advantages to viviparity, such as the greater protection embryos receive against predators, temperature changes, and parasites when developing inside moms rather than eggs. The idea of humans laying eggs may sound egg-centric, but in the animal kingdom it's not an exceptional act. In fact, if you look at it from a pigeon's perspective, we're the weirdos. It's our birthing of brainy yet vulnerable babies that's truly inexplicable.
Did you enjoy that episode? Press the like button if you did. Want to see more? What if you clicked subscribe? Oh, and make sure you click on the little bell so you don't miss another video ever again. In fact, we've got a new one coming out every week. Prepare your mind for more tantalizing hypotheticals.